Great night tonight here at the cutting room. Look at this, who, who's in the house, who's who in the house. Now for your host this evening, Glenn Berger. Studios, a place called A&R. Anybody here from A&R? A&R was one of an elite group of studios uh, that were rocking at that time in New York. The record plant, and media, and then there was Edison, and Automated, and Clinton, and uh, Electric Lady, and I'm probably forgetting a lot of those studios. Anybody ever work at any of those studios? So I got my start in the business in 1972 when I was 17 years old as an intern at a place called Herman Adele Associates, which eventually became HEA. Anybody uh, from that place? Now I was bedazzled as a 17-year-old kid by the musical mod squad that ran that place. There was this cool guy named Bernie Drayton and this hyperkinetic writer named Jake Holmes. And then there was the genius leader of the place, a woman named Susan Hamilton. And Susan was not only an amazingly gifted person, but she was an amazing leader. She gave so many of us our start in the business, including myself. I guess I was successful walking her very large dog, Mendel. And so she got me an internship at a &R Studios. And so on my first day, I was told to go see the studio manager, a guy named Nick Domino. Nick, where are you? Nick was one of my great, great teachers, and he went on to have an amazing career as a jingle producer himself, and there's probably not a guy playing tonight who isn't making some pension money from sessions that they did with, uh, with Nick Domino. Now, now, I learned three very important lessons on that first day in the studio, and Nick taught me two of them. Nick got right up in my face with his rather ample Italian age schnoz, right up to my pretty big Jewish one, and he said, rule number one, you keep your mouth shut. Well, Nick, I'm sorry to say, I never learned that lesson. Now, I'm going to save his second lesson for last, but the third lesson that I learned was that after Nick gave me my indoctrination, he sent me off with a couple of assistant engineers to figure out what, that, what, I, what they should do with me that day. And the first thing they did was to take me into a vocal booth in the back of A1, and they took out this very small spoon. And it was a very strange spoon, because you didn't put it in your mouth, you put it in your nose. Now, now for the life of me, I remember so much from those days, but I can't remember what that spoon was for. Are there any of the studio cats who remember what, what we used that? No, nobody remembers what that was for. So let's get back to Nick's second lesson. The second lesson was, no matter what anybody asks you to do, your only answer is yes. And isn't that the rule that everybody followed in the studios in those days? I don't remember a studio musician ever saying no to, to, to a request. And I took advantage of that tonight. You see, people said to me that I should have a party to celebrate the release of my book. And I said, yeah, that's a good idea, but what I'd really like to do is something that I've wanted to do for a long time, which is to have a reunion of everybody who worked in the studio during those halcyon days. And I thought, since we're doing that, we should have a benefit for Music Cares, which is a wonderful charity that helps musicians in need. Yeah. And I thought, you know, since these cats are going to be there, we should have a little bit of music, maybe. And if we're going to have some music, we need a musical director. And there was only one guy's name who came to mind for musical director, and that is Robbie Condor. Now, I was a little nervous to call Robbie up because it's a big ask to be a musical director for this thing, and he's, you know, he's hot stuff. But when I called him up, he immediately, like a good studio cat, said yes. 
And the next thing I knew, over 40 musicians and singers said yes to do this thing. The generosity of these musicians and singers is absolutely mind-boggling to me. The music you are going to hear tonight is off the charts. Let's hear it for the players and the singers who are going to be playing tonight.